then they're more likely to try to resell that. Because what, what happens if you can't resell it, mm-hmm. it becomes a dead plate. Yeah, if, if, if time goes by. Yes. If time to talk to Because once it's, once it's past like that 10 minute mark and other people's food's coming out fresh, you're not really going to resell it. You're going you're gonna, to send it out. Here's so a, now you have a dead plate. Hi, welcome to the Modern Waiter Podcast. I'm Marlon Joseph, the Modern Waiter, where we discuss all things restaurant business. Learn something. Laugh at something. (laughs) A dead plate is a dish of food that is unservable, either because the customer sent it back or it was prepared incorrectly. In this episode, it's all about the dead plate. But first, the intro. Tired of working deadbeat jobs for lame pay. I'm tired of getting fired and hired the same day. If you know the rules of the game, then you'll stay. As usual, I'm joined by my good friend, Danny DeVillo. What's up, what's up, what's up, people? Now, throughout the course of a shift, as food is being prepared, things go sideways. Yes. And that's where the The vultures of servers (laughs) circle around (laughs) the dead plate. Yes. Dead plate, dead food, same thing. Yeah. And listen, you come to work as a server, sometimes you're hungry, man. Sometimes. hungry. And your opportunities Even for food. Even if you came in and you ate, you get around food long enough, you're going to get hungry. We don't have a lot of access to food. No. At back of the house. They move it around. They bring it out. You know, they're in it. Yeah. They can pick and do whatever. And, and, and that's the perk that they have. Mm-hmm. We have other perks. Absolutely. And so not complaining, but when we're, you're right. Let's say, take my shift, for instance. I work at 430. I'm not going to really eat at four o'clock. No, I'm actively going to work. Yeah, so I may eat at two thirty, maybe the latest three o'clock, the and latest. then go to work. What happens around seven o'clock? You've been around food for the last three hours. Now you're starving. Now you've I'm seen starving. Other people eat. You know, you might not even been hungry when you went to work, but now you're like, ooh, that looks good. Or you smell things. Yes. Okay, because you know your mind is. You think about the smells and you get the sense. And he's like. Well, now it's time to eat. You just want to have something. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's not a it's not something that's solvable quite easily. No. But nothing really helps as much as a dead plate. A dead. You're plate. like, wait wait wait. wait, wait, wait. What happened with that? What's uh so what's the protocol? Let's let's start with uh with some of the instances. instances why are you going to have a dead plate? Why are you going to have a dead plate? Yes. Then go through the protocol. And then we're going to talk about the best way of, we can glom on some some food. Okay. All right. So what are, what do you think of some of the the instances where you would end up with a dead plate? With a dead plate. Uh, something made twice. So oh, that's messed up. Something made in uh, wrong. So so I can't. That's miscommunication then. It well, it depends. Like let's say your printer goes out on the line. And then True. you write it, and then the printer comes back on. True. They make both plates. True. Okay. Or that's like best case scenario. That is. <laughs> <laughs> but then they're more likely to try to resell that. No. Well, yes. But let's we're, we're we're just giving them instances. Okay. And then we'll go. What happens if they don't? You know, because what what happens if you can't resell it? Mm-hmm. It becomes a dead plate. Yeah. If if, if time goes by. Yes. If time to talk to because once it's once it's past like that ten minute mark, and other people's food's coming out fresh, you're not really gonna resell it. You're gonna you're gonna gonna send it out. Here's so the, now you have a dead plate. Here's the problem. The protein might be okay. Might be. Might be. The starch might be okay. Might be. You know what's not going to be okay? The sauce. No. The sauce will dry up on you. Real quick. Oh. Real you quick. You see when a You got to re-sauce. You got to re-flip. <laughs> yeah. You got to, yo. You got to do yes. something to that, yo. Yeah, man. Because that's what happens is it gets, it gets a little coagulated. Yes. It gets, it sick, that sauce tell eat. on you. Yo, it tells it on you. It get on brown and stuff. You're like, whoa. Because all the other food looks good. It looks good. It, looks, it is good. Still vibrant. It's still delicious. Still holding up. Yeah. Still crispy over here. Yeah. Still soft over there. You, you, and and when you grab that dead plate, you might resauce it yourself. <laughs> okay. Just to get yourself like that, that fresh feeling like. Yes. <laughs> Yo, that sauce be telling on you. Telling on you. Oh, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, go ahead. So, made twice. What was I saying? I said made twice. I said... Mistake. And like you said, if it goes to the table, but the key to going to the table, if it's touched, it's going in the trash from me, hands personally. It should. Okay. <laughs> if it, if I, I bring it back, okay. I'm throwing it in the trash. If they, if, they, if they put their fork in it, I don't care if they ate it, okay? I'm putting it in the trash. Okay. Let's, let's, let's parse this out. 
Jones. Okay. Talk to me. Don't don't be throwing it in the trash just yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we know people. Yeah, that, 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 that's, 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 that's my point. I know. That's my point. We know people that eat off of other people's plate. <laughs> Gross. Gross. That's so bad. That is. But so I'm talking bad. about me and you right here. So. Well, for me, if they if. If it hits a table and they're like, oh, I didn't. I and in order that, no, that's totally different. I didn't offer, order that. You're like, Ooh. No, yeah. If you pull it right away. Would you have or whatever the yeah, case no, may be. And that's because that could be as simple as a communication. Like they could have had the grouper and they brought the mahi. Mm-hmm. And you caught that. That might be somebody else's mahi. So you might go in the kitchen. They, they're ready They're ready to grab that and go to the other table anyways. Yes. So. Some people would eat stuff that you order a pasta dish and then salmon and you start eating just on, just being unconscious. And yeah. they go, wait a minute. I didn't have the salmon. salmon. I had pasta. So their fork hit their mouth. The mouth. The, yeah. The, oh yeah. Now that's the, trash. The fork hit. <laughs> so, yeah, that's instant trash. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't throw it out just yet. <laughs> what about the other side? <laughs> <laughs> what about yeah. the other side? I mean, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Maybe, maybe you got a little risotto that was in yeah. touch. You know what I'm saying? You know, have that dish is in touch. Uh, yes. Yes, that might be gold to somebody else. <laughs> One man's trash is another man's treasure. You're not. Yo, wrong. I've seen it. I I've know. seen it so many times. <laughs> and they don't even use a fork, bro. They just get their hands in oh there. Oh, my God. Oh, savages. You I'll tell you off air who does it, bro. They're just like <laughs> savages. savages, bro. It's like, oh, what's the problem? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. I don't know who wants to eat off of somebody. It's 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 unthinkable for me. Yeah, I, I can't I, do it. I can't fathom it. I can't do it. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy food out of my plate, pay full price before yes. I do that. <laughs> Man. Oh, it's so it was it was it left the kitchen basically. Yes. May have hit the table, may have not, or whatever. And and uh, you, that scenario happens all the time. It does absolutely. It happens all the time because a lot there's a lot of moving parts. Things moving it, yeah. quickly. They, they, they could have grabbed something that had a um, or it could be you know what happens a lot of times is the um, special instruction. That's so true. The right dish, you know, may correct 100 percent correctly. Mm-hmm. Will go to the table, but it's wrong. So they let's say they hit the table and it comes back. They know this was supposed to have this, and they might not have touched it. So now that's sitting in the window. And they might have to remake that whole dish. Because that's not served with the the same Sin, size. Exactly. The or co- or, the, or they, they said no spinach and it had spinach in it. Yes. Or they said no No this. sauce yes. or no garlic exactly. or whatever. So now this is just sitting in the window. Mm. Fresh. Fresh. Ready to go. So what you do is you kind of look at the line. Mm-hmm. You kinda, you kinda, you're checking to see, depending on how busy you are. Wait, wait, wait. We're not there yet. Oh, my that's, bad. That's, that's, that's the glomming on the food. Okay. We're talking about all the scenarios where. Why, why this yeah, happened. Yeah. Okay. One more. There yeah. was an accident. Okay. Okay. And an accident, it might sound bad to you out there, but it's good for us. Sometimes dishes are built with care, but they're not too stable. Yes. So if this thing falls over, you can't serve it. You can't serve it. You know, it's like it has to be served a certain certain way. way. It's stacked. It's stacked. Okay. And that's vertical. And now it becomes a leaning tower pizza or it (laughs) completely falls over. It fell apart. Yes. That, 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 that thing that uh, broke apart can't serve that no you know if, and if something breaks a piece you know if, if it breaks apart now you got now you got to restack you can't just restack. you can't you can't you can't, like, you can't yeah, rebuild we have a we have a corn pudding and apparently it's a pain in the ass to make i found out okay okay and if this thing breaks apart you can't serve no that. you got to start from the beginning it's got to be a nice slice yes so we talk about you know what you, what you can do. So those those scenarios where that's going to be the cause yes. of of the dead plate. Now let's talk about the protocol. What are you supposed to do with the dead plate? As if as, it's fully intact, like let's say it's a pasta dish and something was omitted and it you know but a, a regular one, like you said, you got to wait to make sure like five to ten minutes to make sure it can't be sold again. Well, you got to talk to a manager. Yeah. Well, not just a chef. For, you know, somebody in the line. Who's running your line? Your okay. Expo. Okay. Your expo. You can manage. Depending on your management, they might not even be in the kitchen yet. So <laughs> you're talking to people that are in the kitchen that know what's going on. Fair. Fair. Um, So, you know, you're going to see, hey, it's, and now once it passes a certain amount of time, mm-hmm. and if it didn't hit a table. Well, usually here's, here's what what the protocol is and i can kind of tell I've, I've been doing this for a while so i could tell if i could even ask about it oh yeah okay 
if it's valuable to the chef, he will not leave it in the window. He will take that out. Yes. And keep it on his side. Mm-hmm. He'll put it in the salamander or in the in the warmer or in the whatever on the grill on the thing and the that blah 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 and toss the sides. Yes. He's gonna recoup as much of his but, money but as he can. As he can. Yeah. But if he looks at it and he's like, damn, I can't do nothing with it, he'll leave it in the window. <laughs> he'll leave it in the window. Now it comes to your part. So now you can say you, you waited for a few minutes and then <laughs> What's a few minutes? Like, what's a, let's let's give a guideline. I mean, because it really depends on what it is. It depends on what it is. Yeah. Absolutely. It totally depends on what it is. There's a caveat. If it's soup, there ain't nothing you can do with it. No. Like, you can't rejoin soup. No. We're not putting it back in the, the, the thing. It's, no. it's, it's, it's <laughs> that's toothpaste in the, in the like. Well, with it? soup, you could already, you could already get snatch and grab your own soup. That's true. You're right about that. Yeah, you ain't getting nobody else's dirty soup. <laughs> If you're grabbing dirty soup, you got issues, yo. Come on now. You could have got yourself a fresh scoop by yourself. That is true. That's so true. All right. So let's say let's say it's, you know, it's a pasta dish. A pasta dish, I think, has a, the, less, the least amount of sh- uh, shelf life possible. Yes. You got five minutes or less to yes. sell a pasta dish. And if you see it in the window mm. and you know, because now you can see the sauce. Oh, oh, the sauce told on him. The sauce told on him. You could resauce a little bit, but... Yeah, but you would have to completely turn and burn in there. Well, you, know. <laughs> you got to flip it over. Yeah. That's another trick they do. Oh, yeah. They flip the whole damn they, thing over. They they, they toss, mm-hmm. like a salad. Mm-hmm. They take a plate on top of the plate. plate? Yes. And make the bottom of the top. Yes. Once you make the bottom of the top, you can't tell the difference. No, can't tell the difference. <laughs> That's good. Tricks. <laughs> I'm telling you, tricks. I've seen it all. <laughs> Call it that. Salt bay that bad boy. Boom. You just hope you have one. You know, the chef goes down the line. It's like, boom, we have one right here. Yep. Hurry up on that other that's shit. Uh, yeah. And that's the key. Yes. Now, if it's going to be too long, that's where the dead plate comes from. Yes. Okay. That's what that's what I'm saying with the communication is. You got to make sure that there's, on that line of tickets, mm-hmm. that if there's one way down there, then no. Now it's a dead plate because you know. By the time that other food, that well done steak or whatever is on that damn ticket yes. comes out, yes. it's that plate is totally dead. And make now, it fresh. The plate has lost its center stage, yes. and it's at the end of the window. That's, That's how you know it's like now, moving on down. Yes, and then you got then you got to see where you can fit in. Is is it sharing? Are you snatching and grabbing for yourself? Or are you sharing with the team? Or where's it? What what, what capability is what happening? Okay, are the vultures coming? Or, so, or, or did you did you put away your own stash? Here, here we go. Did you hide the crab cake in your apron? <laughs> here, here, I'll tell you what I do. Okay. <laughs> First of all, it helps to have friends on the line. Oh, yeah. Because they can tell you what's what. Because a lot of times, they, depending on what it is, they might want it for themselves, but they don't because they can make their own shit. Yes. Right? If you have friends on the line, like you're, like you know, me and my expos are tight. So mm-hmm. they'll be like, I didn't, I know you like that mahi. You know, it, 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 I got an extra one here, black and just how you like it. Yeah. Boom. It's mine. So th- the reason why you want the, sh- the, 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 the friends on the line, because you almost want the permission. Yeah. You don't care from who. No. You just, you just want... You, the, you want plausible deniability, yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be pulling on stuff. No. And then when you're questioned about it, nobody gave that to you. Yes. So then you're you're the asshole. Yeah. You can't be the asshole. Taking, you know, you can't you just... snatch it out the window. You can't. No. You can't. You, you need some... You need plausible deniability. <laughs> you need some kind of permission. So as for, for me, I like to share it up. That way... That's why you're not the only one. Ah, right. Where does come from? Why there's six of you back here? What do you, you got, guys doing? You got yell at all the of vultures. Us. Yes, <laughs> and and I won't eat it in in the kitchen. You bring it out. I bring it out. Oh, so, so you bring it to share? Yes, I like. No, nah, I can't. I can't be in the kitchen eating that stuff. Yeah, man. only the the only the kitchen people can do that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. It's like you didn't go rob from the bank and then that's hang out and, and wait for Uber. No. <laughs> the yeah, I'm in the vault counting my money still. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You got that plate and it's burning your fingers yeah. and you're out the door. Gone. And then you're like, you, you, you the, the best case scenario for something that you like, you grab a buddy. If it's something that you might just want to pick on, you grab a couple, two, oh, yeah. three people. If you, yeah, so you pick on, yo, I'll move it. I'll even maybe put it in the go box and be like, yo, you guys attack. I might not even eat it myself. I'm, I might just, I might be the guy. Why would you put it, put yourself out there if you're not even going to eat it yourself? Because sometimes you got to give to the people. So the yeah, people give it to the people. Nah, I save that for, <laughs> for my, the creds for myself. <laughs> <laughs> See, for myself personally, I might get something that's sexy. You know what I mean? Let, let, let's say you this. had no choice. It's a dead plate. You it's, didn't order that. I didn't order that. Okay. But 
if you got the right connects, you don't got to worry about that's a diff- That's a different show. Okay. <laughs> We're talking about the dead plate. You're talking about the hookup. <laughs> you right. Right? Yes. We're talking about the dead plate. You got no say in it. You, even, you might not even like the sides. But I take... You take some, what you like and you pass the rest on. That's right. So I go out, out to the floor, not to the floor floor, but the side station. Yeah, the, the, and, the ninja spot. And I would take, uh, you know, a little side plate, scrape, scrape, scrape. Get what you want. And I'll come out. Mom likes the veggies. He probably takes like some spare, get some other shit off of that motherfucker. There's a running joke. <laughs> that I do. It's like, don't eat all the veggies. <laughs> nobody's touching the veggies. Nobody. Mal is coming for the vegetables. And I'm yeah, coming for the vegetables which, every time. So he's snap, and then and then their so mind, I'm set. And in their mind, they got the full plate that the way they want. They got their starch. They might even have some protein. Yo, they're happy. In their mind, they're like sucker. <laughs> I got them. I got the shrimp. I, I got, got it. The, yeah, yeah, I got what I wanted. I don't want that. <laughs> you can have it. Yeah, I want. Yeah, this. so you know, so that's what I would do. I I take my plate and like. I yeah. Take what I want. Listen, the sound of a fork hitting a plate in a restaurant is like a dinner bell for the buzzards, bro. Yeah, the vultures come. They come out of nowhere, like seemingly the ceiling. They come out. It's like, what is that? What is that? And they come in. Boom, yeah. boom, 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 like, boom. Like Dave Chappelle's kid. Like the roaches. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Servers are efficient. Yeah. I, 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 I think it's like uh, the buzzards. Yeah. Servers and maggots. Yeah. And clean it to the bone. To the bone, yeah. Man. <laughs> then you got, that's a dead plate. Some of my favorites, our our dessert is not in the kitchen. Mm. It's with our, our dessert, raw bar pantry is kind of like one, and it's out in the open. Oh, nice. Okay. Right? So that's where I have most access. They they can't stand me, because I come through and it's like, you know, and I come in, I, I, I do the... Uh, I do the underhand take. The slide, like yeah. Whoop, I do the take and yeah. then a cup. It's like a magician. Yeah, you know what I mean? it was never there. <laughs> it was you never didn't see there. Me do that. And so if there's a if there's a slice of cake that uh, that's too small to serve, I go, uh, you can't serve that. Or, or, or a broken piece like key lime pie or something like that. Oh, that's a trove. It's yeah. broken. You can't put that together. <laughs> yes. That don't look right. That don't look right. Pass it over here. Ain't with cream in that thing. Yeah, yeah. You can no, come up off that thing right now. There's nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. <laughs> they come up and it falls off the other side. I'm like, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I'm here for you. I got you. I'll clean that up. <laughs> Plus, I'll take that tray. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, don't even worry about it. I'll give her the mess. I'll give her the, the evidence. Thing. It never existed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's that. That's a dead dessert. Yes. Love it. Now, the dead drink. Those don't survive in my restaurant. <laughs> Same principles apply, right? Oh, yeah. Made incorrectly, didn't have the right ingredient, or it was staying so long. The only way that something sits there is if it was nasty to begin with. You know what I mean? Like, Absolutely. If it's like a guava punch, ain't nobody touching that. <laughs> They're leaving that shit right there. They're leaving it right there. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. It just tastes like juice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you have a nice drink. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're like, least of all, we're doing a straw. Oh, check. you're tasting it. Yeah. Least of all, we're doing a straw check. Absolutely. You might peel off a little. A little yeah. Little sample. <laughs> a Call little it sample. a sample. A sample. Yeah. You got a sample. You got to know what you're selling. Exactly. You, you, you sample know what you're selling. Got to know what you're selling. Yes. So that drink, the dead dessert, and my favorite part of the dead food. We'll, we'll let you go on 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 this whole point is at the end of the night, you can't hold over the mashed potatoes. No. You can't hold over a whole host of things. Yo, we're throwing most of those things away. We're throwing it out. So, you, yo, you get in there. That's okay. But then you, you work your whole shift hungry. Yes. Yeah, I used to, we were starving. So now, now, you, <laughs> so now, you're, not, now you're carb heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, I hate to tell you, they, they ain't miscounting no steaks, no, no proteins, that ain't getting thrown out. That's getting used somewhere. Yep. It's going in a gumbo. It's going in a soup. Exactly. It's going in a special. That is getting used. But you the, sides, the sides you want. The sides, you, you're you in the game. Yeah. And when if they par-cook veggies, that's where I come in. He loves them. I'm like, <laughs> scoop, 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 scoop. Let me get that real quick. Yeah, because it, <clears throat> it, it really saves me from making a bad decision at the end of the night. Because mm-hmm. then if I leave the restaurant hungry... Oh, that, that's a bad decision. I got to find something. And and what's open? Bad food. Yes. It's nothing but bad food. Past 10 o'clock, 
You're not getting anything healthy? No bueno. No bueno. That's when I'm, I'm getting pizza or whatever, whatever that I don't usually eat. Yeah. But maybe there's no food at my house. Or maybe I just simply don't want to cook when I get home. That that's uh, that plays. <laughs> Big time. Big time. And, and you worked all day now or whatever, all night. Yeah. And, and it's just easier to pay somebody a few dollars. Yeah. If, you know, and you come home with something and you're like, okay, at least I'm at least I can eat. At least I could eat. Wasn't wasn't ideal. It, it wasn't what I needed to eat. Yes. But I needed something. I needed something. Yeah. I just need to quiet the rumblings. You need exactly. And eating well, who said that uh was it Tony? Remember you said something in the airport and he goes, They just get a burger and they yeah, they don't even care. They, they just need something to eat. That's true. <laughs> That's true. They just they need don't something eat burgers, to eat. they just need something to eat. And and that happened to me. I think that might be the last time I ate a burger was I sitting with him at the airport. <laughs> you know, you just need to eat something. Yeah. Because traveling is such a weird mm-hmm. process. It can be stressful. It can be a long day. You're waiting there. Absolutely. And you don't have it. What airport's got a great salad? Come on, man. <laughs> you know, it's stuff that could yeah, put, they be keep put together, exactly. hold you down, and, mm-hmm. and, and all that stuff. If there are any uh, dead food scenarios that uh, we missed... That, that not only that we missed that we yeah we want to know about your dead food and how you guys play it out how you sneak around and around it or who do you talk to and all the above yes how do you <laughs> sneak in and slide out with yes. the, with the educate the rest of us As, yes we want to know we want to know and, and anything short of um poisoning the whole the whole deal yourself like you know what i mean like ringing stuff in that yeah. wasn't was supposed to be ringing wasn't supposed to ring in thinking you're going to get it you're not going to profit from that. Yeah. Don't. And usually you do that and you're not the one who gets it anyways. <laughs> Somebody else has already watched you mess it up and is like, oh, they, they, let they, me, I'm taking that. Yeah, they hopped out so, you. Just so you can't have it. Okay? Sure. Let me get that. That's when the manager comes over like, and he's like, oh, uh, this would be my meal, meal for tonight. For you're like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I could get away with it. I thought I could get it. Man. So that's our show. Thank you so much. <laughs> Definitely reach out to us. I'm at themodernwaiter at gmail.com or at the Modern Waiter Podcast. Follow me on Instagram. Yes. I'm Marlon Joseph, the Modern Waiter. He is. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> oh do your part. God. Do your part. Come on. <laughs> Hold it together. Hold it together. Tell it tell them tell people what to do. <laughs> subscribe, 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 people. We'll see you next time. Later. Your boy is killing them out there. Haters don't lie. Killing them out there. Haters don't like. Killing them out there. Haters don't like.